Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, we would be talking about how to use the UR GitHub repository uh, to get a UR uh, simulated on Gazebo in ROS2. Uh, first, what we do is we create the directory. Uh, we create a call con workspace. Uh, and in this workspace, we create a, a source folder uh, using the mkdr command. And once we do that, we go into the source folder and clone the repository required, which can get the UR description. Uh, to do this, uh, we use git clone command, and then we go to the universal GitHub repository. And over here, we can see that uh, universal robot ROS2 description, uh, which where we take the URL, and also we write dash B, humble uh, so that it pulls the humble branch uh, of this repository uh, so we do that and then we get all the necessary uh, package uh, all the necessary files for this package uh, once this is done we will have the necessary package for the urdf side of things uh, next what we will do is uh, we would git clone uh, the humble branch for the gazebo uh, simulation package uh, you can find that in the universal robots page uh, universal robot ros2 gazebo simulation and then we copy the link to this package once we do that uh, we use the url uh, with the git clone command and then we clone this uh, package so here uh, we do the raw step uh, update and install uh, so that we install all the dependencies which are required by the gazebo simulation package and once that is done then we will go ahead and to the root of the directory and do a call con build this is done in ROS2 to, to ensure that all the packages are built properly and then we can execute these packages uh you know before we even execute these packages we need to source uh, the ros workspace ros2 workspace and then source the install uh, where the call con build has stored the files and once that's done we do ros2 launch ur simulation uh, and then we go for the ur sim move it which is one of the options in the launch file and once we do that we launch the rviz we launch gazebo and also move it at the background so we would get one screen which shows us rviz and another screen which is showing the gazebo environment and in the rviz we would get an interactive marker where we could move to different locations and then hit execute so that this uh, UR5E robot can move to that desired spot in the simulation as well. And this is how we can get uh, UR5 to be simulated on ROS2. Thank you for watching the video and subscribe to get more videos of this content.